Hi guys, another episode of my bargain store project. I think this will be episode number five, or is it six already? Could be six. Um, what we've got here is an LED auto light. Turns on when doors or drawers are opened and off when closed. Ideal for wardrobes, cupboards, lockers and drawers. Uh, very simply, it's an LED, a couple of batteries and a magnet and a sort of a reed relay in there. And when I say a sort of one, you'll see what I mean when I take it apart. But very simply, as long as the magnet's there, the circuit's closed, sorry, circuit's open, um, and the light doesn't come on, as soon as the magnet moves away, the circuit closes and the lights come on. So we'll take it apart and I'll show you what I mean. First thing to do is take a little bit of plastic out. So there we go. Lights on, put the magnet in place, light goes out. On, off, on, off. Now my plan is to use it to make a little electric motor uh, magnet motor that uses the reed relay to switch, well, to turn a magnetic coil on and off. Um, there's lots of them on YouTube. Uh, Lid Motor does a very nice one. I'll probably put a link, link into it later. Um, not sure if it'll work, because I'm not sure whether it'll switch quickly enough if I do that really quick you can see it doesn't work at all. Um, so we'll find out in a minute. We'll take it apart and see what we can do with it. There's our little circuit board and the reed relay. Right. Hopefully you can see that clearly now in the picture. Literally all we've got here is two springy bits of metal and that's actually well as I say in effect a reed relay. Normally you'd expect to see them encapsulated in a piece of glass tubing or something but this one's just blowing in the wind there. Let's see if we can demonstrate it working if I take that bit of plastic out from... I actually don't think you'll be able to see any movement because they're just so small. Yeah, you're not going to see any movement there. <laughs> but the idea is to see if we can use that to make a little magnetic electric motor run. There is actually a bit of circuitry under there, which turns the LEDs on and off when the switch operates. Which we don't actually need for what we're doing. This is um, the lid off of a cotton bud box, which I use for putting all sorts of rubbish in, but the lid might be useful. These are some neodymium magnets, which I used in a different project. And hopefully, I should be able to stick them on the inside of there. I could put them inside or outside. Um, I rather like the idea of putting them inside, because then they won't fly off if they come loose. We'll find out when we actually build it. The other advantage of this lid is there's a mark right in the middle, so hopefully I'll be able to drill a little hole in there, mount it on something, like the end of a screw, and it should spin round, 
magnets there and what I've then got to build is an electromagnet. I've got this um, sewing machine spool there that I shall wrap some wire around. That will make an electromagnet. The electromagnet will repel the permanent magnet and if it's sitting on a spindle there the only way it can go is round one way or the other. And the idea is when the magnet's switched on it repels The reed switch, which will be mounted around here somewhere, will then turn the circuit off again so that when the next magnet comes round it's not repelled until it's right up there and then it, the reed, reed relay releases and it repels the next magnet. That's, that's the theory. There's a a sort of a resonant frequency that it'll work at. If it's too slow it won't work and I expect if it's too fast it won't work so it's a matter of whether we get it just right or not as to whether it'll work. So I've got to wrap some wire around there. That's some wire I recovered from a um, transformer. So I shall wrap that round and we'll find out if we've got enough power to actually make this all work. It's a bit more complicated than my usual projects, or more complicated than these normal um, bargain store projects, but I just fancied giving it a go. When I saw those in the shop and realised that there must be a reed relay inside, I thought, I've got to give it a try. So we will see. I've made my electromagnet there, I've wound my wire around the uh, bobbin, if I just hold it by the magnet, you can see it's f swinging freely at the moment. If I touch the wire onto the end of this battery, it'd be better if that was in camera shot, it's just out of shot, but I'll just do it again. It's clearly been repelled. Whether that's enough to make the motor spin round, I don't know. We'll find out. Right, quick trip down to my garage. I've got a off cut of wood. I've stuck a screw through. found a couple of aluminium brackets, so they're non-magnetic, so I should be able to use them to mount, the, um, mount that on, and hopefully somewhere or other I'm going to have to mount that reed switch. Right, that's my neodymium magnets mounted on the inside. Just used double sided foam, sticky foam tape to put it in place. So that seems to balance quite nicely. Right, I've had to take the reed relay right out of the um, light, uh, mainly because the magnets were actually attracted to the batteries and that and even attracted to the uh, wires on the LEDs so it wasn't spinning neatly um, so I've mounted it there, it's actually on blue tack so I can adjust it quite easily but if I switch the power on Okay, it's not perfect. I give it a bit of help. There we go. 
I've rigged up just an LED with a resistor on it, which I can just turn this slowly. There we go. Now the resistance is actually dropping the voltage enough for it not to carry on running. But you can at least see that the read relay is operating. Right, one last little point. Um, I did actually have to modify that circuit. When I say modify. Um, I put a knife cut straight through that bit of circuitry there, just to totally disconnect the um, whatever that black blob is from the reed switch. So we got the reed switch just there. I've cut it off there, so I've got my circuit going to there and to there. In other words, there's nothing else left of the original um, light switch other than just the reed switch there. Object of the exercise was to buy something from my bargain store which was the magnetically operated light. The magnet was operating this little reed switch. I've taken the reed switch out and I've built this little motor with it using the lid off of a cotton bud box or container. Some neodymium magnets that I've used on other projects. Made myself a coil using a sewing machine bobbin and some wire that I recovered off of a transformer. And that's it. It worked. Um, it's actually not working at the moment, as I say, because I've just bent that again. But if I spent a bit of time adjusting it, it probably would work. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to spend time doing that now because we've we finished the project. I don't think that's the very best reed switch you can get in the world. Um, it's very cheap and nasty, but it did the job. Got our little motor circuit working. I can't remember what they're called now. Um, I'll put a link in to somebody else's that works efficiently. But uh, there we go. I'm quite pleased with that. That was a success. I think what's actually happening here is there's sparks causing a what we used to call a whisker on the contacts. So they're basically corroding. Um, but it's working. quite enough voltage to drive it if I put the LED in circuit. 
which is a shame. Actually, you see the sparks on there. So that's what's happening. That's building up corrosion. Yeah, you can see those sparks. So that's why this cheap relay, reed relay, is not really the best tool for the job. Basically, I've killed it. <laughs> I suppose if I cleaned that off with a bit of emery paper, it would come back to life for a while. <laughs> 